let me see. Leave a comment below. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you like and subscribe. Welcome to another episode of Ooh, What's That? Where we go over tech reviews and uh, reviews of technologies or apps or, or just different things that I find interesting. On today's episode, I want to talk about Fundrise. It is a um, an app or, yeah, it's an app where you can put your money uh, for real estate. So instead of investing in stocks or investing in crypto, you'd be investing directly into real estate property. All right, so let's jump right into it. This is the Fundrise app, okay? So when you first go to fundrise.com, you're going to come here and this is what you're going to see. Well, first off, you know, I always like to start with the Twitter. I don't know why I didn't start there. So first, let's start off with the Twitter page where you would be able to talk to them about anything going on. So if you have some type of problems, some type of issues with the actually, you wouldn't be able to message them, but you'd be able to tweet them in the potentially they would be able to help you with whatever problem that you're probably that you're having so the twitter page here they're going to give us news and information just giving us updates about the fundrise app like what is you know new updates new things that they're adding to it new projects new investments just so on and so forth but as you can see they haven't really been tweeting lately because there hasn't really been any new um any type of new updates or anything like that they, they haven't really been saying much going on let's get back to the website so with the website here this is how it looks on the website this is for your login and your get started and, and it's just talking about different things so there's a few things that i want to touch on with the fundrise app all right so here what types of investment accounts does Fundrise support? So there's different types of accounts that you can get with Fundrise, right? You can get an individual account, a joint account, so it's you and someone else, and an entity account, a trust account, an IRA account. We do not currently support the ability to invest via a 401k or a custody account on behalf of minors. All right, so you won't be able to get those two specific kinds of accounts, but here are the different kinds that you can get. now. With getting an account, what? how can you start? So they have different kinds here. They have the starter package, which is a minimum of $500. I don't know if they still offer this because when I signed up to Fundrise, this was not an option, the $500. I had to jump in with the, with the $1,000. But if you can get in with the $500, that's great. It's still here on the website, so clearly it is a thing. You can sign up with the $500. So if you don't have a lot of money, I would suggest doing that. That way you know your money is locked away. Ain't no touching it. It's there. It's making you money. It's working for you. It's amazing, right? So with the 500, it gives you at least the auto invest. I started off with the basic, which is $1,000, which as you can see, you get the auto invest, ability to invest through an IRA, a potential IPO access, uh, investment goals, and that's where it ends and then once you have up to five thousand in the account then you get a little bit more now you get direct investment into uh, REITs standard plans and then you invest more and you get more then of course the referral bonuses become even better uh, as you go up with the more money and you get more you go up in the system by adding more money to your Fundrise account so I like that about Fundrise and uh, is there an extra fee to switch over from different accounts? No, there isn't any extra fees to do that, right? So, but there are fees in the fund rise. They do charge you for this service. So the charge here is 0.15%, per, uh, which comes out to $1,000 a year you have in your account. It's gonna come out to about $1.50, right? and uh, that's for the account fees now the fund fees this is for like REITs and I and, and e funds as you can see that's what it's for so with those REITs and, and e funds accounts they charge uh, 0.85 percent which is still much lower than the, the usual uh, price if you do it through the stock market it's usually like uh, point uh, point three zero percent but zero point eight five percent that should come out to about eight dollars and fifty cents somewhere around there for a thousand dollars sitting in your account so you put the thousand in you never touch it again you just leave it there 
you know that they're going to charge you a little bit of money, but you will have made more than what they're charging you. So to me, it's fine because, again, you're going to make more than what they're charging you. Right. So I like that about that. Uh, you can also add a beneficiary. So, you know, you open up your account, you put the thousand dollars, you put a beneficiary's name on it. So if something ever happens to you, which hopefully it won't. But if you die sooner than you would have liked, then you know for a fact that this money is not just going to be up in the air. It's going to go to who you want it to go to. That's another thing about the money, about these accounts. If you're investing in stocks, real estate, I don't care what you got going on. If you're doing anything that's saving money or you're putting money aside somewhere that you haven't really talked, you don't really talk to people about the money that you put away, you need to make sure that that money has some type of clause on it, some type of beneficiary or somebody else's name on it. So that if something happens to you, that money isn't just up in the air, isn't just lost to the system. It can be given to your child or your or your or your sisters or brothers or or whoever it is that you want to get the money. So a beneficiary is good. You can even add in a trust as a beneficiary. You can add a trust as a beneficiary from the advanced option. So yes, you can do that. If you don't want to put a person on, you can put a trust as the beneficiary. So I personally like Fundrise. I think it's a great app for investing into real estate and just diversifying your portfolio and adding more um, diversification to your portfolio. All right. So if you guys like this and you want to know more about Fundrise and like how you could potentially make money, I can attest that it does work. It does make you money. I have made money with Fundrise. I currently have a Fundrise account. If you'd like to see that, you'll have to go over to hyper.com and check me out there where you would then be able to see my uh, hyper account uh, i'm sorry my fundrise account and and get a little more intel on the fundrise app other than that thanks for watching another episode of Ooh, what's that let's all remember man we all out here trying to stay happy and survive y'all stay blessed